QNAP's App Center is one way in which QNAP remains a key tool in data storage even as technology and trends shift and evolve. QNAP is continually developing new proprietary apps alongside third-party developers that integrate their software with the QNAP NAS. These applications enable such features as remote backup, multimedia streaming, virtualization, and more. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to install apps in the App Center. So start by opening the App Center. Under My Apps, you'll see the apps that are already installed on the NAS. But to browse other apps that you may want to install, click All Apps. When you click Install, a window will pop up giving you an option of which volume to install it on. Having this option can help you improve your system resource usage. For example, you may have an app that would be better suited to run off of SSD storage, such as the Rune app. You could then create a volume on top of the SSD storage and then install the app on that volume. Ultimately, it just makes the management of your NAS a little more flexible. In my case, I'll just choose Data Volume 2, make your selections, and click OK. At this point, the app will begin to download. If you don't typically connect your NAS to the internet, you can also install apps manually with Q packages. You can download the Q packages from the QNAP App Center website at qnap.com slash en slash app underscore center slash. On the website, select your operating system and firmware version, and then select the number of drive bays on your NAS and select your NAS and then just find the app that you want to download. To install the Q package, go back to the App Center in QTS and click the icon in the upper right hand corner and then in the Install Manually window, browse for the Q package that you would like to install and then install it. Just click Install, click OK, The app is now installed. Additionally, there are sections to help navigate the App Center, such as QTS Essentials for some of the fundamental QNAP apps, Recommended for Recommended Apps, and Partners, which gives you an offering of apps created by companies that QNAP partners with. Additionally, you can search apps by category, such as Backup slash Sync, Business, Entertainment, and more. You can also access hybrid desk station apps from the App Center, which are used when connecting the NAS directly to a monitor via HDMI. And you can also install the multimedia add-ons from the App Center, which integrate with our video station app. You may notice that some application icons have a little Q in the upper right hand corner. This is to indicate that it's a first party QNAP app. You can also stop an app from running by selecting Stop from an app's drop-down menu. If you want to restart the app, you can simply click Start. Additionally, you can remove apps from the NAS altogether by selecting Remove from the drop-down menu. In addition to being able to choose what volume you would like to install an app on initially, you can also migrate an app after installation from one volume to another. Just go to the App Center, click the down arrow to the right of the app that you would like to migrate, and select Migrate To. Then choose the volume which you would like to migrate to, click Migrate, and then click OK. The app will then migrate to the specified volume. The vast software available for the QDAP NAS to optimize the system for numerous tasks is one of the fundamental reasons why QNAP is relied upon in a wide array of fields. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS.